Hey, what is up guys? Bongonzo here. So this video is going to be called Cakewalk for Beginners. Um, this is literally just going to be me walking through what are the basics of Cakewalk that everyone needs to know in order to make a good beat. So right from here, we're going to be starting from the blank canvas and we're just going to go through the very beginnings. I'm just going to basically show you how to put on tracks and all the things that go around that. And then I'll let you guys figure out how to make the song itself. Let's get into it and you'll totally understand immediately. So when you're first starting out Cakewalk, I'm assuming you already have it downloaded. You want to click this little emptyproject.cwt right here under the new projects tab. And when you click that, it's going to open up this blank interface where you really don't have anything to choose from. Now in order to get going and start playing stuff on Cakewalk, what you want to do is you want to click this little plus sign here that adds a track. Click the instrument tab and under this little instrument um, little bar here. We're going to click on it and we're going to choose an instrument. I'm personally going to choose um, the electric piano and push create. It's going to open up the user interface for the electric piano and it's going to make this little track right here that is going to be holding the MIDI notes. What I want you to do is I want you to I want you to take your cursor and drag over and go over to this five and drag all the way to the beginning and then hitting shift L on your keyboard. That's going to make a little loop point so you can loop it back every four bars. And now what we're going to do is since I make trap beats, I'm going to right click onto this window, push view piano roll view and then hit shift D and this is where we're, we're going to be placing our notes in now in order to place a note you want to be using your smart tool you can access them from your top home bar or you can access it by hitting T and then using the pointer tool right here and then while you have your pointer tool selected you can you hold alt and click wherever you want to place a note and just like that that's how you place a note and if you never need to drag a note you can just drag it like that it's really no problem there if you need to extend a note or shorten a note, you can just click on the edge of the note and drag it wherever you need to go. If you think your song is going too fast, click on this little 120 that you have in the tempo bar, and then you can just type in the new number you want, like 100, and then click enter. If you want to change the source sound that's coming out of the instrument, you can click this little synth icon here, and it'll bring up the user interface again. If you want to change the sound that you're using right now, you can just click this little default dot prog here change to anything else like maybe classic roads copy so now i'm going to copy this thing over so it's four bars long by highlighting everything by holding control and dragging with my smart tool to where i want it to be and then i'm going to click this little duplicate track button to make an exact copy of that track and then I'm going to copy the MIDI down by holding control and dragging down. And then I'm going to click this little synth button and change the instrument again. Now I'm going to show you another feature how to affect your instruments. If you hit B on your keyboard, you're going to bring up this little plugins window on the side. You can find that in the second tab and then under audio effects. And then you can use these little folders to find new plugins to add to your instruments. Now I have been using Cable for a while and I have a lot of plugins already set up. So I'm going to bring in this plugin called Shaperbox. If you want to record on a track, Right click on this little record button here, click in plus one measures, push OK. Make sure this little armed recording button here is, and then click record. If you want to quantize your MIDI, highlight all of them and click Q, and then choose your resolution you want to quantize to, and then OK. So now we're going to add in um, some drums to this beat. Now the drum kit that comes stock with Cakewalk is really, really, really trash. Even though this is a beginner tutorial, I'm still going to show you some of the most advanced stuff. But I'm going to have a lot of links in the description that you can learn more about this kind of stuff. If you want to follow along with the drum, you're, you're going to have to learn how to download plugins. Because what I'm going to show you how to do is use the ADSR sample manager. When you have that sample manager downloaded, click create here and it will bring you to this window that has your samples here. Since you're a beginner, you probably don't have any files on your computer. So I'm gonna link you some links in the description where you can get some good free um, sound kits that will be good for your beats. And once you have downloaded those, and you've downloaded the sampler, then we can move on. Now look in the folders that are here and find your eight, your sound called an 808. This is one called Lays 808. When you have your 808 selected, make sure you click DAW Sync and turn that off. Also make sure you turn off loop and turn into full. And then you should be good. And then now, now you have a selected, you're gonna go right click here, view, piano roll, and make it shift D. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play in our 808s. So we're gonna go very high. So we're gonna play very high notes. 
We're just gonna um, listen to what the song sounds like and what notes should be played. So I think this sounds like a good note. And then I'm gonna copy the notes over just like I have been doing earlier by holding control and dragging. But on this time, the notes are actually different, so I'm gonna change them. You might wanna do an octave like this. An octave is, as you can see, this is a E flat. This is also an E flat, but it's a higher E flat. And then you wanna expand your notes all the way until the next note by dragging out from the right. And then let's highlight all of our notes and drag them down an octave. What that involves is clicking on your notes. My note is on a G sharp. So we're gonna drag from a G sharp down to another G sharp. Now it's, I'm gonna open up the ADSR sampler again. And I'm gonna look for a clap. Now we're gonna make another instance of the ADSR sampler and look for a hi-hat. I'm not gonna tell you what you should make your hi-hat sound like, but this is a really good one. Now I'm gonna link you in the top corner of a video about how to use hi-hats. Um, I'm not gonna explain it here because it's like an entire 10 minute video on just how to make hi-hat patterns. But in the short version, you just go view, step sequencer, click this little plus sign until you get to C5, turn up your beats to eight, steps to eight, right click, fill every four. I'm not gonna tell you what a good kick sounds like, but I really like this kind of sound. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go on the 808 channel and we're gonna copy the sound, the MIDI, exactly onto the kick channel. If you let go. Well, how I did that was I held control while I dragged. And then let's double click on this um, track, hit shift D so you can see the notes better. Now we're gonna bring them all down to the same note. Now we're gonna click on the note that they are on, because mine is an E, sh e flat. And bring that down to a C5. Okay, now we're gonna click the plus sign, create a new ADSR track, and we're looking for some per per percussions. I'm gonna show you a really, really cool effect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Control and A, that highlights every single thing in the track. I'm gonna go process. Transpose, negative one, enter. I think that sounds way, way cooler. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to arrange. This is just a really quick beat. What you wanna do is hold Control and A. Make sure you're in your pointer tool, your smart tool, by holding T and then clicking that T. And then you, you're, you're on your moving tool if you click on this like white section of all of your tracks. And what you want to do is right where this beginning section is, you want to move it to right where this loop marker ends. So we're going to hold control and move. Right there. Fine. If you do accidentally make a mess up, you can always hit control Z to undo. So now what we're going to do is turn off this whole loop thing by clicking that, or you can also click L on your keyboard. And now we're going to arrange. So usually I'd say listen to an, a good beat you like and just copy how they arrange. What I know is that they usually just cut out all the drums at the beginning. Uh, this is Let's say this is the riser I want to use. What you want to do is just drag from here straight onto the empty areas of your project window. And it's automatically going to make a audio track and place in the sample for you. So now what you want to do is make sure you're in your pointer tool, your smart tool. And let's zoom in a bit by holding alt while we use our scroll wheel. And then we're going to hold control alt while, while we use our scroll wheel in order to see the audio. So now what I want to do is I want to hit F on the keyboards to make everything bigger. I'm also going to double click on the thing a bit so it makes it a lot bigger. And now we know we want the um, drop to hit right at 9. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this little riser over here so it's about at 9. And then if we use the zoom and then if we use that control and alt thing again we can zoom out a bit. We know it should be right about there. So now, now I'm going to hit F again so we can zoom out a bit. And then let's go from eight. Perfect. Now we're gonna make sure we're on a smart tool again. And we're gonna drag from the beginning of this to about to five, which is four bars before we wanted to hit. And then using the control and drag feature that I've showed you earlier, we can just copy this audio thing around and around until we have every single transition where we want them to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a really fun beat to make. Um, I did it really quickly, but I just really wanted to show like 
this is how you make a beat if you're a beginner if you like this video hit the like button subscribe button see you next week saturday also i think i'm posting on wednesdays now so two videos a week that's pretty legit um see you guys next week saturday Woo!